Hello friends, welcome back to School Management System in Laravel. In this video, we can continue like a examination inside like a mark register. So we have did like a printing function. So we need to continue like a admin side, teacher side and parent side. Suppose every place there. So we need to continue. Okay. So I already show you how to made inside student side. So let's log in as a student account. Now I can show you again after we can do inside a admin side and after we can sh short out like a teachers and parents side okay so just log out and log in as a for this students so just log in now <coughs> so you can see it here like uh, go to my exam results inside you can see it like a print function and i already show you like last time so we can use like same thing but we can do it by very quick just we can put like a button because we have already done like a this is the routes but this route is a different different way. here is working admin suppose teachers the teachers works and there is suppose the parents so parents works i can show you how we can do it okay so just log out for this account and log in as a admin account so i can show it okay just go to admin at the gmail.com so whatever your admin so you can go and after i go to examination examination inside we have did like mark registers after i search my exam and i click on the part time and after I search, so you can see it like one result showing. So inside we need to put here like a print function. So just follow this URL. <coughs> so just we need to follow this URL and we can go. Okay, I just copy now and go to routes inside web.php. And let's make some zoom out so I can show you clearly. Okay, inside mark registers, I using go to Definition so I can go direct because subline editor provide these features. Otherwise, do you want to go like app inside HTTP inside a controller inside you can see it like an examination controller. Inside you can see it like a mark registers. Okay. So let's go to mark register files like admin resources inside views inside admin inside you can see it like a examination. Examination inside you can see it like a mark registers. You can see it here. Okay, just open these files. After we need to check like old condition, what we uh, did. So here you can see total marks like this all thing there. So just we need to put here like a print function. Very simple. It is not like big deal. Just you can put like a print function after need to show same like we did like here is a like a save function. So same thing we can do is a print function here. Just copy and put A and here also you can put A. <coughs> Let's go to like a student side and we can copy for this one. So let's go to students like uh, my exam results. Yes. Now you can go down and you can see it like a print. I think just go up. Here is a uh, where is the there? Yes. Here we have did like print. So let's copy this line. Okay. I just go to student inside my exam results inside. We have did like last few video like print function. Just copy and put inside a like a here. So just change and uh, after we need to make dynamic student ID. So just go up so we can get a student ID. So just go up. So here is a get students. So get students, a so student ID we can get here. So just you can put it here like a student ID, like dynamic. We have this reason last time I show you, we need to make all the dynamic. So just pass like student ID. So just simple student ID. And also we need to pass like our exam ID. So what's the exam we are doing? Okay so exam id so just get student get subject here there above there is a like a get student and here there get subjects okay just one minute just go down okay let's sort out proper way i don't want to make like a error <coughs> like here is the last name name and here is student id okay this is the proper and here you can see it like a exam id so just copy this exam id because we are searching here like a search so you can get it here exam id so we know okay for this like a year showing the like exam wise so we know okay what is the exam id so just we have to copy and just go down and here you can put like a dynamic exam id okay it's very simple no any difficulty it's very very simple okay just you can change to student to admin so first we need to search inside route these files so you can copy this line okay and go to admin side this is the admin route all so any place you can put but we can put like examinations part 
so examination search like examination okay here there so you can put here and here you can change like a student to admin okay now we need to go back again to mark register here and just put here like student to admin and let's close for student one we don't want to need like here we have change now we need to go back and refresh the page okay so just go back again refresh the page so you can see it here like a okay not showing uh, why is not showing one minutes okay i did wrong way let's remove all and we can check no is it right file is right here there some condition okay because i have made like wrong place is a print function let's save and just go back again i think where is the print button okay here sh print showing but is like a, we need to make a scroll after showing print function is very well no issue okay just we need to make a here br so is going to down so look like better just make it br and we need to remove the like a, this one assembly floor and float right also you can remove but we don't want to remove the no need to add br just is a float right this is the error to going to right side okay just go back again here is the page so you can see it here like a print button you see i just click here so we already created for this routes and we already passed like exam id student id so you can see it like automatic generate the results this reason i ever did inside student side like a like a dynamic so i am passing inside url and url wise i get a result for the student and for this exam id i can show you like a old code so do you want to see so just follow this url inside web.php and you can go to get my exam results and here you can see it here like all the code like exam id we have get request student id we have get after student and exam data we have get after we have get get class we have get what so get setting inside we need to make like dynamic like this name and logo and whatever need this is the paragraph also dynamic we have made using this setting and after we are creating array and array wise we are displaying here results so this is the result we have did like a outside no any folder like a exam result print dot blade dot php you can see it here so this reason i did last time so you are following the last two videos so you can easily understand what i did okay otherwise no any big deal you can understand easily okay let's close this one we don't want to need now and we don't want to need this one also okay let's go back again and refresh the page so you can see it now here like a print function suppose any other class you can go into like ss1 and you can search here suppose there so you can see it here also here there just click on the save but just you can click on the print so you can see it. this is the two result you can find out the printing inside also grade results student name profile whatever all there is there i already show you in last few videos so you can understand easily <coughs> now this print button we need to do inside a teacher side suppose teacher side we implement like mark register so 100% is there so let's log out and log in for these teachers 1,2,3,4,5,6 and here going to mark register there yes here you can see it mark registers I can choose like exam and after I can choose a part time so here is a no result found SS1 inside found results no one student no any student found like here one minute suppose any place found so i can show you like here part time inside there okay you can see like first times and i choose and i have found the result here and you also save it like single multi so also we need to make like here like a print button so just follow this link also otherwise you can go directly like a teacher set so you can see it, this file like we already write like this mark register just open this line and you can copy for the print and just go down simple way just go down and you can put it here like a, a save button where is their save buttons so just found the save button here result so save save just go down is the input fields let's search save so we can do it quickly okay here there save button you see so just put here so it's working very well no issue you can see it but this is that we need to put inside a total student homework otherwise generate the error so you told me 
why is the error showing the y so let's let's make it outside so it's possible you can make inside so it's possible suppose it is not working very well so you can make it inside so total student mark is you can got it so you know okay he is working very well otherwise generate the error so you don't told, told me but it is not possible to generate errors so don't worry about that you can put any place to you want to like okay here is a we have get exam id so this is the exam id also dynamic work here and student id so student id we need to go up like uh, here so you can see student id also we are getting like we already passed here so it's the same print button no need to change anything just you copy admin side and just put here so same thing just you need to put here like a admin to teachers and you can my exam results to print you need to do inside a like a route file so route file here there also student side there so just copy for this line okay print line and go to like a teacher side and you can change to route so examination where is the examination for the teachers uh, my exams okay my exam time table okay you can put here where it do, whatever do you want to like you can put it here okay i just changed like admin to teachers and after is the same as no need to change also need to go to my mark register and you also need to change here like uh, this is the admin one so close this one and this is the teachers one so just put teachers i already put before so it's working very well let's go back again and we can refresh the page so you can see it here like a print button and after you click on the print button so you can see the result is a printing because we have already passed the exam id and student id so working very well here you can see student name and admission number part time terms everything showing so teacher side is also easy not a difficult so we are done like admin side teacher side now last part remaining about the parent side so let's shut out inside a parent side just log out first login is a admin after we can get for the account for the parents so i know what is the <laughs> means which place i need to log in which parents i need to go so i can get the data this is the reason otherwise no any reason so let's go to test to @test.com means parent to @test.com just log out and log in for this parent now i log in for the parents now we need to go like uh, my students my student inside we have made lots of button like uh, exam result here you can see this button just click on the exam result button so you can see it so just put here like a right side we need to put like a print button so let's follow this link because we need to add a like a id about the exam id okay so this is the link i just go inside and here we are getting the like exam name but we are not getting the exam id so just data e copy and paste and you can put here like a exam id mm, okay and this is the value get exam so we can go to like mark register model and uh, here is uh, their mark register exam so you can see it like exam id there so don't have a issue you can see it here so mark register already we have made a star and here is a concrete there so i don't want to show like database database inside is already there this is the year join query work so i already pass here like a exam id inside a parent set because we need okay and student id that we always get inside get student because you know about student name here these reasons so let's close this one we don't want to need and also we don't want to need this ones and now we need to go to like a parent inside a my exam results so just go to this tables and just go down and no need to go down here you need to put a get record inside you need to put here okay is very easy not a difficulty so let's go to like a student again like my exam results and you can copy for this print function and just paste here after we value dot exam id because exam id we have already passed here you can see it here okay same as the exam name is a printing same as we have print like a exam id and this is the authentication id work so just we copy this one like a login id here work so just copy and change for the id like this you can see it like get student id and after student to we can change like a parent and we need to create a new routes let's copy the spelling so i can do it proper way okay now everything is good and just you can search for this routes any place we did and just copy this routes again 
and you can go to like parents so parents where is the parents this is the students so i think go up this is the teachers so i think last one is the parents just go down and here you can put it any place but i can put like a uh, exam results where is the exam dashboard account change passwords exam timetable exam result so you can put it here and after you can change like admin to parents and we have already done inside a like a parent site like a admin my student to parents you can see it here let's go back again and refresh the page so you can see it right side one menu like a print button and you click one so is a printing working very well no issue you can see it and also you can save is a pdf file and you can see it i already show you in last few video but you can do it in this video also so i already explained like uh, now student student side we did last two video parent side and teacher side and admin side we did in this video how to make a print function means print result function so i hope you have clear everything so but do you have any questions so please comment out and do you want to like this video so please like and don't dislike because i am doing like great video you know you know this reason i just told you you can like so you can like don't like dislike it is good for me this reason is because i am trying to my best video always okay and i hope do you want to like this like and do you want to see like this video so more so please subscribe our channel and please share your friends so he can learn something new so it is good for you because education always need to divide everybody can learn so it's good for everybody this is the reason otherwise no any reasons okay i hope and uh, thank you for watching